people of God, you're welcome to Calvary Movies TV, where you can get edifying content, inspirational movies, movies that will bless your life. So why don't we just tap on the subscription button and tap on the notification bell so that you'll be aware whenever we drop a new content. And don't forget to share. Hmm? Make sure you share and tap. Make sure you tap on that subscription button. Subscribe. What are you still waiting for? As I'm saying it, eh? Subscribe. God bless you. I don't understand. And I, I can never understand. Does it make sense? Huh? I sent you to university with my hard penny resources so you could amount to something in life and take good care of me. How dare you? How dare you now that you will throw all my investment into a church basket? Why do you decide to back out from certainty to uncertainty? Why? I mean, why? Mom. This is not all about me. I am only yielding to the dictate of God. He wants me to take a year vacation of my secular job to embark on a full-time missionary work. Mom, mom, what, what I'm saying is... I, I, shut up! I'm not interested in what you are saying. What are you saying? I'm not only your biological mother. I'm also your spiritual mother. You got born again through my own teaching. I cannot mislead you. I can't mislead you. It is unwise for you to leave a lucrative job that brings you hundreds of thousands, that got you a very good edifice house, a good car, and other social amenities. God can never, I repeat, God can never allow you to leave such things to go for uncertainty. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't. I mean, it doesn't. Go and think about it. Get out from my car. No, there is no, no, don't mommy me. Go and think about it and give me a positive result. <laughs> It's 8.14 p.m. Ah, no wonder. My stomach is churning. Churning. Ah. Yes, you are correct. 8.14. 8.14. 8.14 and you have not called me. Call you? Call you for what? Almost 8.30. You, you have not called me that supper is ready. Oh, sorry. Supper is not ready. Almost 8.30. Supper is not ready. Where will it be ready for goodness sake? When? From now on, for supper can never be ready for goodness sake. Yes, supper can never be ready for goodness sake. Mm. Mm. Did you give me money? Did you? Answer me now. What do you do in this house? I pay the children's school fees. I pick up electricity bills. I pick up water bills. Tell me, what do you do in this house? In this house, you, you are an infidel. You don't do anything. Tell me. What do you do to maintain this house? What do you do to the upkeep of this house? Oh, I forgot. The only thing you know how to do is conjugal relationship. And I have decided. 
decide what? To put an out. I mean an embargo to any conjugal relationship in this house and to stop feeding you. And a man that cannot provide for his family does not deserve the body of his wife. So, my lovely husband, no supper for you tonight. Ah, you ready? You ready? You ready? Ha! They me back. Ah, Kola, see your life. See your life. See your life. Shubaka Bella Yemi. Oh, eh, mi kofe mala toni lo. Oh, bato we shuba jabesi. Ah, we shuba ye mi. Ah, this is too much. He reti me. He reti me. He reti. That you are not a man enough until you take up the financial obligations in this house. Haven't I? You told me. But this punishment is too much for me to pay. Hmm? It's too much for me. Look, I've been feeding on Gary and crumbs all this while. While you feed sumptuously. The last time you allowed me access to your body was three weeks ago. Eh, Kota. Eh, Kota. Aside, communication and interaction between us as family, as husband and wife, has been reduced to the barest minimum. I have been relegated to the background. Eh? My dear, sweetheart, you know I love you. Please, find a place in your heart to forgive me. Eh? Please, find a place in your heart to forgive me. Sweetheart. Eh? Sweetheart? Sweetheart? Hey! Sweetheart! See, I, I have no sweetheart for you in this house. I have no sweetheart for you in this house. See, the sweetheart I had for you flew out of the window from the moment you allowed gross irresponsibility to take care of your responsibility. Can I chip in the word? I have spoken. Let me explain. I said I have spoken. My dear, I beg your indulgence. Let me explain. Hmm? I have spoken. I said I have spoken. Open your ears. I have spoken. 
Nonsense. And one more thing. If you touch me, if you wake me up again, you see what I will do to you. Nonsense. This is um, Apostle, Prophet, Bishop, Dele Jayeto, formerly Pastor Joseph Bamishikmi. Who am I on to, please? Praise God, Pastor Joseph. Point of correction, please. God has made a new thing in my life. All things have now passed away and all things have become new. I am now Apostle Dele Jayeto. You have not answered my question. Who are you? I am Kola, your classmate in Optimo University. Kola Woliulu Weyo. I can't still pin down your name to anything. We were both in accountancy class. Your roommate in Smith Hall. Oh, Kola. Ah, ah. Quite an age. I'd look for you for ages. Thank God I found you. Ah, ah. <laughs> I got this number from Femi, my friend. He said you are now a pastor. One of the leading Pentecostal pastors in Lagos. He said you have several branches of church spread around Lagos and beyond. Gabro Sotayana! All glory be to Jesus now. So, what can I do for you? My friend, life has dealt bitterly with me. I lost my job and credibility. I lost the dignity of a man. I am as bad as the grass on the ground people march on. That is even an understatement. I am not even as valuable as a grass. Some people give grass honor. I am as bad as sand that every Tom, Dick and Harry match on without any respect. I am a Mr. Nobody. I mean, I am a Mr. Nothing. You want money? Yes, yes, yes. Can you come to Lagos first thing tomorrow morning? Hey, Jesus Christ. Lagos. Ah, ah sorry, sorry, sir. I can't come. You can't come? Why? I would have loved to come, but I can't afford the money to come. Can you please send me something to survive here? Kabo Sutakabada! Look, you are coming to Lagos first thing tomorrow, but not by any commercial vehicle. I'll send you money to take you to the airport. 
and I will also send you sufficient money to take care of your flight. Two boys will be waiting at the airport to pick you up, to bring you to my citadel. Yeah, you speak with one of my boys, you know, I mean, concerning the modalities of getting the money that will foot your bill, I mean, your flight and every other expenses. Hmm? Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Ah, what is happening to me? What is happening to me? Hey, nothing is happening to you, but good. Look, I'll make you a multi-millionaire. I will turn your life around. See you tomorrow. <laughs>
Uh, well, I don't know. How do you want me to help you now? Is it that you want a salary job, you know, maybe that you'll be paid 250000 a monthly? No. Wow. That would be huge. <laughs> or um, do you like to start up a business with five million naira? Sir? Five million. Wow. Oh, five million. <laughs> five million. That would be far better than the first offer. And you know, <coughs> with five million, that means I can start my own business and become the master of myself. And you know, nothing is sweet like being the master of yourself, where you control things the way you want it. Yes. yes. Oh, I'll prefer the option. Yes. Okay. Um, 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 um. Give me your account details. Just like that. <laughs> okay, sir. Uh, uh, 21, mm -hmm. 42, mm -hmm. 82, mm -hmm. 93, mm -hmm. 57. Mm -hmm. Unique Bank of Nigeria. Okay. okay. Um, I've been debited. But, sir, mm -hmm. that's an error. Really? Yes. You didn't send five million here. Okay. You actually sent six million. Yeah. <laughs> For that, that is deliberate. I did that because of you and your wife. I wanted you to um, use the one million I need to pay for your children's school fees, pay for your house rent, pay outstanding bills, change your wardrobe, you know, because it's not good to eat out of your business capital, especially the first day of running the business. So that's praise, 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 <laughs> praise, 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 <laughs> My God will not only bless you, Amen. He will enlarge you, Amen. He will lift you up, Amen. He will surprise you, Amen. And reward you adequately, Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. <laughs>
You are my darling. You are my sweet, sweet. Ha. I love you. <laughs> I love you unconditionally. Thank you. Sir. Tell me, what can I do without you? Oh, nothing. What can I do without nothing. you? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> I should stand up. <laughs> Let's go. To where now? To the bedroom. Eh? To the bedroom. Eh? To the bedroom. <laughs> well, sorry. Uh, not now. Some other time. Uh, what do you mean by that? I mean exactly what you heard. Not now. Some other time. <sighs> hmm? Just take it easy. More must be coming. Hmm. You have not seen anything. Hmm. Oh, Tisha. Hey. Baba, Baba Tisha. Hey. Oh, Tisha. Hey. Baba Tisha. Oh, 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 my wife! We are very happy to receive you, you in this village. Thank you, sir. <laughs> it is quite amazing that you could leave the city life to come and join us. It ah. is good, sir. <laughs> you know, you, 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 you left the comfort of the city, you left the amenities mm. of the city, you left your lucrative job. Eh? You even left every other thing to come and stay with us for 30 days. Uh -uh. Your case is unique. What is unique in that? Compared to the sacrifice you and your wife took for the sake of the gospel. You, you are both university graduates. But you left all to serve in a rural rugged area like this. In a full time capacity. Ah. To God be all the glory. No good road. In fact, I have been trying to put call through to home since I got here. That reminds me. Anytime you want to make a call, look at look at that. Look at that. Can you see that rubber tree? And under under it, there's network there. So we usually go to that rubber tree to make our calls. Ah, no electricity. Nothing. Nothing but the grace of God. And the grace of God is sufficient, and it will. Be ever sufficient because without the grace of God, there's nothing you can do. Hey, good day, sir. Ah, God bless you, mommy. You are welcome. <laughs> Thanks for having me, ma. My dear, yes. I push it. Well done, ma. I push it. Sincerely, ah, you, you've done something great for God, sir. And I pray God will reward you, sir. Mm, well, <laughs> just pray that God will reward us, all of us together. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, you left the city, don't be here. Praise to God, sir. Oh, praise to God, sir. <laughs> well, well done, ma. Thank you so much. My dear, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. 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 Thank you so much, Dad. Yes. Thank you so much. Let's eat. You brought this food for us to eat. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. Let's pray. Sir. What is this, sir? Food. Food? No meat. No fish. Not even stew. How are you surviving on this, sir? We survive on the grace of God. Ah. Just the grace of God. Jesus. You see, I made effort to get uh, bush meat so that you can at least eat bush meat. But my trap did not catch any. My trap did not catch any bush meat. So, let's eat what God has provided. So, is this what I will be living on for the next 30 days while I will be here? We 
see, it is not always like this. We live by faith. And whatever God give people to support us with, that's what we believe. So it is not always like this. You see? Essentially, the first thing to know as a missionary is in the book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 12 to 13. Please read it in your Bible. I know but how to be abased, and I know how to abound. Yes, there is plenty and want. Everywhere and in all things, I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. I can do all things, not some things, all things through Christ, which strengthens me. If there is plenty food, I can do. If there is no food, I can do. If the food is not very good, I can do. If the food is good, I can do. If the food has meat, I can do. If the food does not have meat, I can do. You see, my church, the Lord, the first thing that you must know, the first essential thing for every missionary Eh? is one sacrifice faith and dedication it's not only it's, it's not even only for missionaries for every original child of god every original child of god must know how to live a life of faith a life of sacrifice and a life of dedication you must be crucified with christ you, every child of God that wants to amount in the hands of God must be crucified with Christ and you must learn to carry your cross daily. So, crucifixion with Christ, carrying your cross daily. You must allow the cross of Jesus to crush every bit of the flesh in you. And then, you must be broken. Because if you are not broken, things of God will break into pieces in your hands. Any child of God that is not broken, things of God will break into pieces in his or her hands. Any child of God that is not broken, things of God will break into pieces in his hand. Yes. yes. What is brokenness? <laughs> brokenness is a practice. It is not something stunted instantaneous it doesn't happen instantaneously brokenness is a process it's a practice it is not an instantaneous thing it is the process of dying to self as the key of spiritual faithfulness or spiritual fruitfulness you must allow the cross to crush every bit of sin in your life a broken man is a dead man. A broken man is a dead man. If you are, a, if a, 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 you are broken, you, you are not sensitive to what is happening in the world anymore. Because you have been purchased and bought with Christ. You have been broken. Things that affect others don't affect you anymore. Things that people react to, you don't react to it anymore. If you see a man that is still angry, Fighting on necessary on issues. Go and check that man. That man is not broken. That man is not broken yet. That man is still very active. He is active. He is not yet dead. A broken man is a dead man. He must be. He must die to flesh. Thank you, sir. Thank God. So, wash your hand and eat, because you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. No, see, no evil will happen to you because you have been crucified with Jesus. Tomorrow, you may have meat, 
But today, this is what God has provided. <laughs> You can do all things yes, sir. through Christ that strengthens you. And how is it? It's fine, sir. Eh? It's fine, sir. Are you sure? <laughs> yes, sir. You can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. Even in this village, you can do all things yes, sir. through Christ that does what? That strengthens you. Go ahead, it. <laughs> You are a powerful man on bed, so powerful compared to your age and look. Younger men are not as powerful as you are. Thank you for the 200k you transferred into my account. Only few men are that magnanimous in this era, where men are so economical with their spendings. Kai, 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 poverty. Poverty is a disease. Yes, so. You see, men that will not spend money to enjoy themselves are poor men. Mm -hmm. With money, you can do anything. Yes, so. Mm. With money, there is no line of demarcation mm -hmm. or extent that you can't enjoy yourself. <laughs> Where there is money, Yes. Security and enjoyment are absolutely guaranteed. Where there is money, security and maximum enjoyment are guaranteed. I agree with that. My beautiful dance here. Yes, yes. Don't tell me you are going. Um, that is exactly what I would tell you. I have an important meeting bid for 6.30. It's 6.12 already. I must dash out of this place right away. And I will tell you that you cannot dash out right away because I have some money to dash you. <laughs> some money to dash me? <laughs> you don't have the kind of money to dash me that will not make me to dash out of this place latest in five minutes time. Okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. I gave you 200,000 initially, isn't it? Yes, but that's no longer a deal. Yes, it is no longer a deal. But can I make a fresh deal for 300,000? From now till tomorrow morning. Is that a deal? No, that is not a deal. 300k does not hold enough water to jettison my preposition. I must be out of here. In a jiffy. Okay, 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 wait, 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 wait. I will add another 100k in the jiffy to that. Will the center hold? <laughs> the center is not at ease. <laughs> so it cannot hold. You have three minutes to fund the wheel. And it begins to count right away. Okay, 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 okay. Ah. <sighs> I can see a diamond in the sky. Can that diamond come down for 500k? There are different types of precious stones, but diamond is more durable and beautiful than them all. You have only two minutes to find a way. Okay, wait. Now, look at me. I will I will transfer one million into your account, prompto. You said you would do what? <laughs> I will transfer one million into your account, prompto, if you concede to flocking around with me in this room and on this bed till tomorrow. It's a deal. Oh, yeah. 
Today is the seventh day of the Uru Festival. The gods of the land are hungry and very angry. No blood, no blood, no blood for the gods of the land to suck. Are we going to end this process without blood for the gods of the land to suck? Olori, you know we have tried. We have ransacked the no containing of this village. But we have not been able to track down the category of the people the gods require for the sacrifice. Yes, Olori. We have not been able to pin down any woman or a stranger. We need the fresh blood of a woman or a stranger to appease the anger of the gods. Throw those excuses to the trash bin. We are to blame not the gods if we let this opportunity slip our fingers. The consequences of our failure will be too severe, not only to us, but the entire clan. We must make a while the sun is still shining. The going down of the sun will leave nothing to be desired. We must rise and shine, all oh, compatriots. This rain will not stop us. The task of getting a woman or a stranger must be done tonight. Yes. The task of getting a woman or a stranger must be done tonight. The task of getting a woman or a stranger must be done tonight. The task of getting a woman or a stranger must be done tonight. Rinke, listen to me. I am tired of you. What is the use of a woman without a child? Eh? Tell me! And what is the use of a man that is irresponsible? <laughs> you cannot be his family. Always nagging every time. Eh? And above all, you are not capable of impregnating your wife. Me? Yes. Let me tell you the truth of the matter. The truth of the matter is that you are not man enough to make a family. Eh? And let me tell you this again. You better stop beating around the bush and go and find solution to your impotency. Me? Yes. Rinke? That's you. Do you just call me an impotent yes, man? Yes, you are. Yes, you, you call are. me an impotent yes, man? Yes, you are. Yeah, 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 yeah. You kill me, kill me. You kill me. Leave my door. Leave my door. You kill me, kill me. Give me 500,000 Naira. He bought different things to the house. But, but, what is wrong with him? I asked him into the room. But he turned my advances down. I was the one turning his advances down before. Now, the table just turned around. What is actually wrong? He went out since then and he has not returned to his house. Hmm. I don't want that sweet sweet again. She is now bitter, bitter. I don't even begin to. You are my new sweet sweet. You are my only sweet sweet. You are the latest sweet sweet that I have. Cut the call. I should cut the call? Precisely, cut it. It 
got my call. Ah, hey, my husband has never caught my call before. What's happened to him? Why should he turn against me today that he began to be responsible? My sweet sweet. Yes, sweet sweet. I have a very important request. I hope you will grant it to me. If it is in my ability, I will grant you. I'm calling again. Your bitter bitter is calling again. Woman, what do you want? Eh? What do you mean, what do I want? You left since afternoon. This is past 11 in the night. You have not deemed it fit to come back home. You hustle... Woman! Woman. <laughs> Just listen. Let me educate you. You see? Life is dynamic. You have had enough of me. You don't love me. You love me for what you are going to get from me. I was down. I was empty. I was a nobody. I lost my job. I needed your shoulder to rest my head on as my partner. But your shoulder was not available for me in my time of distress. Now, I've gotten what you wanted and I've given you what you strongly wanted most, which is money. And I've also gotten what I want, which is peace. The next place we'll be meeting is in the court. When you get your lawyer, let me know and I'll foot the bill. I am sorry. Please find a place in your heart to forgive me. <laughs> Sorry? Eh? Sorry? Oh. Too late to cry when the head is cut off. A spilled milk cannot be gathered again. Hello? Are you there? Are you there? I'm hearing you. But please forgive me. Woman, I have an errand you will help me with. Woman, there are a lot and lot of women like you out there who are only out for what they will get from their husbands, not what they will give. They have forgotten that marriage is about giving. Help me tell them that there will be severe consequences for their actions. Bye. We will meet in the court. That woman is not just a fool. She is a compound fool. Anyway, I'm happy you gave her what she deserved. It served her right. By the way, what did you want to request from me before our stupid call interrupted our beautiful conversation? The request is simple. Okay. Will you marry me for you? Marry you for a month? Precisely. <laughs> That's a joke extended beyond normal limits. Marry you for a month? That's strange. <laughs> it's a contract. Okay. You will stay with me in this hotel for a month. And I'll give you the best treatment. I mean, the best treatment anybody can think of. And you'll be adequately rewarded. Wow. So, how much are we talking about here? We are talking about additional 500k to the one I've given you before. That's a play. It is impossible to stay with a man for a whole lot of one month. Secondly, 500k is a piece made for this and no more sacrifice. You are demanding from me. Okay, okay, my dear. Susie, let's do it this way. 
Okay. 500k for a weak marriage. <laughs> you are still talking. <laughs> okay. 700k for a weak marriage. Hello. You talk too much. If you indeed desired a weak marriage with me, it's a Mila. I mean, one million naira. Is that <laughs> a deal? Okay, okay. Yeah. It's a deal, but yeah? the marriage starts now. Uh, no, 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 not too fast, not too fast. The marriage cannot start now. I have to get me home to pick some personal effects and clothes. It's all right. It's all right. Then the deal starts when you are back. I mean, I will transfer the money when you come back. <laughs> wise old man. You're too wise. I'm wise old girl. <laughs> <laughs> Hold it, go, go, hold it, hold it. Yes, my lord. Stop the song. I am desperate. Very desperate to get someone tonight. Either a woman or a stranger. The song will allow them of our coming. And they will run away. As a matter of fact, we must be very quiet. We must roam gently like a lion. But we must never roar like a lion. Hmm? Understood. Honori, very good. Today is today. Someone must be caught today. Rinke, for having the guts to call me an important man, you must get out of my house tonight. What? Yes. Do you want to chase me out in the middle of the night? You must get out of my house Please tonight. Please don't do that. Where do you want me to go in, in this middle of the night? I don't have anywhere to go. Don't you care if any, if any disaster happens to me? That's what I want. That's exactly what I want. I want disaster and calamity to fall on you. Get out of my house. Please don't do this. Get out of my house. Yes. Rike, get out of my house. I'm sorry. Please, Father, me forgive me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where will I go? I'm finished. Ah, I'm already finished. Where will I go? I'm get finished. out of my house. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You must get out of my house tonight. Where will I go now? Where will I go? Please, I said, Father, on me now. Where am I going tonight? You I'm call me a new protest, man. Yeah, please. You call me a new protest, man. Eh? You want to get out of my house tonight. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of my house. Jesus, as I go out this morning, I pray you go before me in the name of Jesus. I pray you touch lives, you break bondages and shackles in the name of Jesus. As I will be lifting you up unto men, I pray you draw souls unto yourself in the name of Jesus. Thank you, righteous Father. In Jesus' name, I pray. Uh, oh, Olori, how do we get out of this very unfortunate situation? The day will soon break mm. and we have not captured anyone. What is really happening? Hmm. Don't give up. Don't hurt the process. <laughs> we have been going through this process for some time. 
ojuro lori ta wa ina ni ara wa gbe inu ta wa ina ni i don't have any doubt in my heart da ile dua we give us someone tonight ko baje lo ya won baba mi ko le baje lori temi for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life give your life to jesus for he has come to give you life embrace the life of christ and you will not perish embrace the life of christ and you will not perish turn from your wickedness any pada kuro ni ni wa ibi yin give your life to jesus to god I'm hearing a voice. I can hear a voice from one angle. I can sense it too. I can sense it. Wait to The voice is coming from this side. Huh? It's from this side. I think it's from this side. 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 As it rained unexpectedly in the days of Noah, so will Jesus come unexpected. Give your life to Jesus. Please, I need more money. Can you assist me, please? I will appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sweet sweets. Hello, sweet sweets. Um, I would love to mark my 23rd birthday in five days' time. Wow! That is great. Oh, that will be wonderful. <laughs> um, the total budget for it is 1.3 million naira. But I have to beat it down to 1 million naira because of the tough time. Though I know you are tougher than the tough time, but I detest making things tough for you. This is trouble. I have almost exhausted the 5 million naira I got from Maposu on this girl. All I have left in my account is just 700k. How do I help this situation? Ow. A penny for your thoughts, <laughs> Yes, honey. You no, know, I was just thinking on uh, how the 23rd birthday of my wife, you know, will be. Paradise will come to the earth that day. Yes, it's must. Yes, paradise must come to the earth. <laughs> Ah, uh, sweet, sweet. Yes, sweet. Can I put forth a suggestion that will turn your birthday to an Eldorado? Oh, uh, turn my birthday to an Eldorado? That would be fantastically exhilarating. I'm all yes. It's all right. Um, the suggestion is this. That we observe your birthday with 500k. Then mark it extensively in two weeks time by then my account will be funded in 12 days by my business partner and will be swimming in the ocean of wealth and affluence. i won't take that from you all my friends and family members are aware of the day what should i tell them that I'm married to a husband that cannot pick up the bill for my birthday celebration? I should tell them that my rich, lovely, and caring husband has suddenly gone bankrupt? Isn't it a shame to tell them that your glory has departed and that you are no more what you made me believe you were? Cool it down, baby. Cool it down. Let's not talk about a shift of two weeks. And I promise to fund your account with five miller to mark your birthday. That's in two days to come. Oh, that's so lovely. <laughs> oh, that's my baby. I love you so much. I 
I love you so much. So, how about the 500k you spoke of? Yeah, I will transfer it. I'll transfer it. Right and do you remember that our marriage clocks um, for days today? And that our marriage contracts will expire in three days' time? <sighs> what about that? <laughs> oh, my. Yes, sweet. Well, my dear, so sweet. With color, you are safe. Oh. You know, I promise you five million. Yes. In a few days to come. I will add to it. Thank you so much. Um, it, yeah. So, um, the have k Ah! <laughs> it's alright. Yeah. The account, right? Yes, yes, yes. Done. Successful. to something else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm at the verge of completing my bungalow. Uh -huh. uh, the house has been completed. I'm only left with the furnishing, which will be done very soon. Uh -huh. How can a man be so stupid, <laughs> gullible, and foolish? You can say that again. Uh -huh. Very, very foolish indeed. Okay. It fell it long for my spell. Uh -huh. How? <laughs> I went to see a Jijuma who made an institution in my genital. Not only that, he made me a bead to wear with the other beads. This bead has power mm -hmm. to turn his head, brain, and mind to my direction. Each time he sleeps with me, mm -hmm. he will so much enjoy it. And it will always be desiring for a repeat of the experience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he left his wife to follow me. Mm -hmm. He left his children to follow me. Huh. The family is living in a rented apartment. Why he has no house of his own. Huh. Not even a car. Hey. <laughs> Men are so gullible and stupid. <laughs> they are so careless and unconscious of what women out there are ready to suck them dry and drain them to empty because of illicit sex. My friend. Yes? Please, can you do me a favor? What favor is that? Would you please take me to the Baba that did the charm for you? I want to be in the camp of women that drain men dry. <laughs> I'm serious about this. I have with you. Yes. Okay, okay, hey. okay, 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 okay. So welcome on board. Uh -huh. uh -uh. <laughs> Let's just go. <laughs> Where are you from? From, from Lagos. Lagos. What are you doing here? I mean, what is your mission here? I'm here to preach the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's my mission. What, what is the meaning of that? Mm -hmm. That people might escape and be saved from death. <laughs> but you can't escape death. You are not safe in our hands. I am not in your hands. I am in Jesus' hands. <laughs> you are a native of where? Ikare in the Kitty States. Mm. <laughs> you are the one we've been waiting for. Yes. You are the one to die. <laughs> yes, ah. yes. I am the one you have been waiting for. <laughs> but you are the one to leave. Ah. Esho, come and carry him to the prison reserve for those are ready to die. Evangelist Jeremiah, you are welcome. Anything we can do for you? Kapi, see? News came to me that your men abducted and detained my guests. Thanks so much, Evangelist Jeremiah. God has used you to answer our prayers. Amen. 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 The God of the land requested for a gay or a stranger for sacrifice. And your guest happened to be the sacrificial lamb. Kapi Kapi 
my guest cannot be the sacrificial lamb. Uh -huh. <laughs> because, because somebody has been used as a sacrifice for him. Mm. The Lord Jesus has been sacrificed for him. So we can, you can't use him as a sacrifice. Uh -huh. <laughs> A bodo figure wo dana. A ja to ba beku ni buba. O ti dedo ko fe jara re we. It is not possible. He has been marked by the God for sacrifice, yes. and the yes. gods will feast on him in few days time. Yes. Ah ah. Let's find out. Abiyesi, you know me. You know me very well. I live among you in this village, and you know my capability and capacities. You know what I carry. Abiyesi. Don't provoke the lion of the tribe of Judah that are carried within me. Uh. Oh, it will roar. Whoa, what is that lion? Kabiye, see, those who had such a similar question in the Bible, <laughs> they got their answer in a bitter way, very bitter way. Kabiye, see, we better let the sleeping dog lie. Let's allow the cobra to put its tail within the folds of the cobra. Oh yes, Kabiyesi, if any man step on the tail of the cobra, the cobra will bite him most severely. That is a threat. And for having that audacity, that temerity, that pomposity and that impudence to talk to me like that, for you to have talked to me the way you did, you will be slaughtered with your guest. Gat, uh, I ask him, take hold of shield and buckler. And stand up for my help, O oh Lord. Cat, arrest him! Kabish, have you forgotten that man that this is pity out of, of our community? Our champed hunters couldn't undo him. He went ahead destroying life. This is the man that used the lion in him to drive away a Zubeje from our community. Arrest him! Chief <laughs> Lord of Jesus! <laughs> Have you seen? Today is Thursday. I will be here by Tuesday. If you don't release my guest, what happened to this one is going to be small. And remember, what happened to Pharaoh in the Bible will happen to you. Why has he not paid? I don't know. I'm confused. See, I, this is one, two, three, four, five. I do not need to stay here. This is not the room here. We don't do this here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I, don't, I don't like this. I don't like this. Well, we we'll cook a bankrupt if we we'll keep running business like this. Yeah. Oh, uh, well done, sir. Good day, sir. Good day. Good day. Uh, how's everything, sir? Fine, thank God. What can I do for you? A report came to me that um, you are owing us and you've been using our services and you've not paid for a while. And then you're owing us about 180,000 naira. Yes, 180,000 naira. And when I checked it now, I can see that if we look at our services, um, room service, uh, laundry, restaurant, you're owing us about 210,000 naira now. Uh, I first told, told them to give you a while, but I realized that you're not ready to pay us. What is the problem, sir? What an insult. What an embarrassment. Ha. Have you forgotten the colossal amount I spent on this year hotel? I, are you not happy that somebody of my status, somebody of my public standing is patronizing this your motion motel? Eh? Yes, sir, 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 sir. We apologize and um, we say thanks once again for patronizing us. You see, but my job here is in serious jeopardy. If you don't pay this money, you see, as the manager here, I have to make sure everything is complete and every of the money is paid. Okay, Mr. Manager, let's do it this way. Hmm? You give me two days. Okay. Afterward, I will pay up everything, everything. And uh, aside, I will give you 20,000, I mean 20K. I will dash you 20K. 
concerned. That is not done here at all. We don't do that here. And that is not allowed. It is with great pain. I am informing you, I'm letting you know, that in the next 30 minutes, from now to next 30 minutes, if the money is not paid, if your outstanding bills are not settled, you'll be sent out of that hotel room amongst other services. You see, this hotel based on the money we get. You see, and if you think we are playing, sir, if you think that this hotel is uh, are playing with you, we would inform the police and must get the outstanding bills settled before you leave this hotel. Sir, with due respect, uh, uh, I'm sorry to say, your testimony starts now. What nonsense. What stupidity. Blew up 6 million naira under 8 days. I have only 230k left in my account. If I pay their 210,000, I will be left with only 20k. What do I do now? I definitely must pay their money to avoid the embarrassment of being locked up. It's okay. Your testament is counting, sir. Whatever. It's counting now. Yeah. Uh, you didn't even call me to thank me after I gave you the five minutes. My deputy governor. Our next governor. Yes. Thank you, man of God. The apostle of this end time. The fire in me consumes everything militating against you. Amen, man of God. Uh, just to tell you that our party convention will be next tomorrow. As you know, I am competing with my boss, Chief Adejoko somewhere. I want to defeat him hands down. Like I told you, he is very strong spiritually. He believes in diabolical powers. He rests on a false power, a ballist, and other devilish spiritual power. But I rest on the living God. I depend solely very strongly on the God of Apostle Daily, the end time powerful apostle. I know one with God is the majority. I am with you. I will get the majority foot next tomorrow. Kapu suta kite de ne mele fafa igabada. Oh, deputy governor, I don't know how buoyant you are right now. I am very buoyant. I have prepared an anointing oil. You know, called making the impossible possible. And this anointing oil, specially made for governor Abubakar duty of Kora State, who wants to, of course, go for the second term. So I don't know if, um, but let me just say it. If you can pay 30 million naira, the anointing oil will be yours. I can afford more than that. As a matter of fact, I will buy the anointing oil for 40 million naira. 40 million naira? Wow! <laughs> My governor, there is no controversy, sir. Honestly, you already our next governor. Well, I'll be waiting for the alert. So let one of your boys come pick it up. Yeah. Bye. Wow. Hey, big man. Hey. So, what business did you, did you invest in? Uh, actually, I did not Let's invest the money in any business. I blew it up. You blew it up? I'm very sorry. Please, forgive me. See, I felt I should enjoy myself a little after long years. I just felt that I should enjoy myself a little. And that's really what happened. I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry about it. Please forgive me. Please sit down. Please sit down. 
<laughs> okay, so now, what do you want me to do for you? Ah, help me again now. Help me again. We are, we, are, we are friends. You see, even if this time, maybe if it's one million, honestly, I promise to, to invest it. I will invest it. I will try and make it, turn it over. Okay. Uh, okay. Even if it's just one million, please help me. Okay. Do you know that you're indeed a fool? Yes, you just opened your mouth and just, you know, mentioned one million just like that. No, like, you think I'm actually stupid. Do you know what I do to make money? I work hard to make this money. I do miracles. Do you even know how those miracles come to be? Do you know the things I, 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 I'm supposed to eat? Do you know the things that I, I drink? Do you know the places I visit? Or the places I'm supposed to sleep? Just to make this money? No, no, you drink water, but do you know what I drink? Do you know the sacrifice I pay? Or the old house I, I visit? Oh, look, I'm not giving you any cobble. Even your transport fare back, I'm not giving you. Please. I'm not a waster like you. Please, I beg you in the name of God, please. Eh? We are friends. I'm, I'm sorry now. Huh? I say I'm deeply sorry about it. I'm sorry. Please help me. Look, I have spoken and that is why now. Boys, look, come and take this in great out of my house. In the revelation, three men were wrestling with you. Wrestling with me? Yes. You defeated the first man. People clapped their hands in serious jubilation for the victory over mm. the man. You also defeated the second man. People also clap their hands. You carry the third man up with the attempt to knock him down. People were already clapping their hands. They were jubilating suddenly and unexpectedly. A strange man came from nowhere. He rescued the man from you. He did not only rescue the man from you, he carried you up and knocked you down to the extent that you screamed. And you couldn't stand to your feet. I reject that in Jesus' name. I reject it. But who is that stranger? That is a big question. Who is this stranger? As I was ruminating and praying seriously about this, this revelation, God told me that if we must win this battle against the tactics of the devil, and if we don't want the people of this land to kill Brobology, we have to change our tactics. We have to change our strategy. Hmm. Because if we do not change our strategy, God forbid, oh, they might keep Bolaji. God forbid. God will not allow And our that. life may also go for it. <gasps> no, in Jesus' name. That won't happen. It won't happen. In that case, we must be as wise as serpent and harmless as a dove. Jesus Christ, in his earthly ministry, applied different strategies to achieve results. True. He walked by direction, divine direction, and not by spiritual zeal. He walked by divine, by divine direction, direction and not by spiritual zeal. Yes. He cast out the demons of Gadra by simple command, strategy. Hmm. That is the strategy of God. The woman with the hedge of blood just needed to touch his garments. He spat on the soil and anointed the eyes of the blind with it. He asked the blind man to bath in the river before he could see. Sometimes the blinds may see immediately. And sometimes they may begin to see trees like men. Hmm. And sometimes there may be total healing. That's the strategy of God. It also happened in the whole testament. In the book of Judges chapter 7 verse 1. 22,000 people followed Gideon to war. But God needed just 300 people. Mm. The remaining 21,700 people were turned back home. That is strategy of God. Sometimes, God may instruct the people of Israel to fight with swords, arrows, cutlasses, and so on. And sometimes, God may ask the teenage David to kill a mighty Goliath with just a single stone. <laughs> Strategy of God. Strategy! <laughs>
strategy of God, like he did in 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 41 to 50. Hmm. God may decide to win a war without a sword or any weapon, not even a stone. All that may be needed may just be walking around the problem. Hmm. Like the people of Israel walked around the city of Jericho and the wall of Jericho fell down flat. Strategy of God. <laughs> Strategy. You see, Kola? Yes. You have been begging me now for the past 20 minutes. And your pleads is, is touching my heart. Please sit down. Sit down. Sit down. You know what I'm going to do for you now? Is that um, I will not give you any one millionaire. Rather, I will make you work for the money. Eh? Tell me what I am going to do for money. Ah, I'm ready to do it. I'm ready to do it right away. Right away. Will you go to India? Why not? I'll go to India. I'll go to India if, if you want, if you can foot the bill. I'll go to India. I will foot the bill. I'll give you the comfort that no one has ever given me before. And I'm sure that in the next 12 days you'll be a proud owner of um, 25 million. Right? Ooh, ooh, <laughs> ooh, praise, 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 praise the Lord. Ah, I know, I know God will put my enemies to shame. They thought I can't make it. <laughs> I will make it to my enemy. Ah, the Lord has put me to shame. Well, Thank you very much. Well, ah. you've not even asked me the kind of job that will fetch you such an amount of money. I'm sorry. Actually, I have forgot. Please, what am I going to do in India that will fetch me a whopping sum of 25 million? <laughs> I'm ready to do it. Please tell me. Please tell me. Dear, you said Thursday is the day built to use Brabology for sacrifice. This will not happen. It will not happen. In Jesus. God will not it will allow never that. Happen. It will never happen. Uh, when do you intend to go there to pressurize them to release him to you? Tomorrow, Tuesday. Ah, tomorrow, Tuesday. Eh? You should have told me, dear. The two of us are one. And the very first day we got married was the day we ceased to operate a personal account with God. Hmm. Our account now with God is a joint account which we are both signatory to. You should have told me so that we will jointly draw from the account in heaven. God honors our personal account in some cases. But honors our joint account in all cases. God honors our personal account in some cases. Yes. But He honors our joint account in all cases. Well, thank God that you are telling me now. It is not late. Thank God that you are telling me now, dear. You know you are powerful and you are prayerful. God has been using you mightily in this village. But you know what? We will stay indoors tomorrow. No going to anywhere. No eating of food. And no drinking of water. We will stay indoors. Asking God the right strategy to use for this battle. We should not depend on our previous formula. Because the formula of yesterday may fail us. So we need to seek the face of God for the new formula for this battle. Mm. 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 There's a new formula for every battle. Yes. <laughs> well done! The battle line has just been strong. You have not seen anything yet. You will see trouble upon trouble upon trouble. Did you hear that? I, 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 I heard it. I heard it. But they are like their father, the devil. You are a bloody liar. We will not see any trouble. Yes. We will not see any trouble. But you, you will see trouble ten times because you are like your father, the devil. 
If you are not a liar like your, like your father the devil, show your face. Stop hiding. Why are you hiding? Why? Why are you hiding? You are a coward. Show your face and your identity. Come out if you are not a coward. Why are you hiding? Why are they hiding? Let's talk. Let's start the prayer now. I, I send it to tomorrow. Let's hold our hands and pray. And start praying. Every power of darkness hiding their face because they are cowards. They are like their father, the devil. We come against you. Why is it difficult for you to tell me what you want me to do? The assignment you have for me in India. Why is it difficult for you? Yeah. Just tell me the assignment. This is what you want, what you want to do in India for me. It is not difficult, bro. It is not. Nothing is difficult for Apostle Delhi. With Apostle Delhi, all things are simple. Then what is the assignment? Tell me. You go there for an operation. Operation? Operation for what? I'm not sick. I'm here and eating. So what am I going to do in India? What do I need operation for? Well, um, you're not doing the operation for yourself. You're doing it for me. I'm not doing the operation for myself. I'm doing it for you. How? How many kidneys do you have? Uh, people say that uh, everybody have two kidneys. So I should have two kidneys. Okay. I need one of your kidneys. The left one for 25 million. What do you need the kidney for? Are you sick? Color. Whatever I need the kidney for is none of your business. Are you ready to sell your kidney or not for 25 million? Eh? Man of God, I desperately need money. But I can't risk my life. I can't sell my kidney for 25 million or any amount. Ah, you cannot bring me to Lagos. To come and die because of 25 million. No, nobody's dying. I understand your point. You're naive, right? Can you please put your index finger into one of your nostrils? Can you still breathe with the other one? Yes. Good. Can you please cover one of your eyes for me? Can you still see with the other one? Yes, I'm managing to see. So, God. In his graciousness, made everything surplus. Yes, such that if one packs up, we can still make a living with the second one. And I, will, I only need your left kidney. You can still live on with the right one. You see, many people around that you are looking at are actually living on one kidney and they are doing just fine. Apostle. Man of God, mm. listen, there's no amount of pity, nothing you can say to convince me to sell my kidney. I can't sell it for any amount. Never. I can never sell it for any amount. Then, I cannot help you. Yes, I cannot help you. Now, leave my house now. I said leave my house now! Leave! This is the powerhouse from Inuda Dimeko. Hmm. Her name is Oso Fojuriwi. Oso Fojuriwi. That is serious. That is her name, Kabiesi. Hmm. Oso Fojuriwi. She combines the spiritual quality of a witch and the spiritual quality of a win. Yes. Ah, ah. She must be very powerful. Hmm. Very powerful. Welcome, woman. You yeah, are welcome. We trust Eledua to help us conquer evangelist Jeremiah. He is very powerful. He has turned our culture upside down with a strong religion. <clears throat> Kabiesi, sorry I forgot to tell you. She understands you perfectly. But she's only given to few words. She only talks when she sees battle. Eh? Hmm? She's a unique being. Yes. Mm. Uh, uh, Prepare the visitor's cottage for her. Mm. Yeah. Prepare pounded yam and a goosey soup for her. Mm. Or right. she doesn't eat too. Kabesi, she eats. Mm -hmm. But she eats a special delicacy. 
each time she come to battle. What are you saying? What special delicacy is better than pandered yam and a goosey soup? soup. Yes. Uh, okay, okay, I understand. Look for the biggest cock in the palace okay. and prepare it for her. You see, she doesn't eat that either. <laughs> okay, what then does she eat? Oil, Kabiesi. What type of oil? Half bottle of palm oil. Mm -hmm. Mixed with half bottle of human blood. Ah. That should go down very well with her. Mm -hmm. Ah! Sanda for? I told you, I told you, I can never see any part of my body for 25 million. I can't risk my life. I can't. Ah. Just calm down. Calm down. Look, I want to buy something else from you. I told you. Eh? On me now. I can't sell any part of my body for 25 million. Kola, calm down. You're my good friend. And I don't want you to go back empty handed. I want to help you. I will be glad if you can now sell your pants to me. Yes, you know, buying your pant is tantamount to buying your destiny. I'm ready to pay 25 million naira for your pant. <laughs> Ooh, glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You mean? I will not sell any part of my body. Yes. I will not be any operation. Mm -hmm. Just my pants. Yep. Yep. Just my pants alone. Yes. 25 million. Yes. I'm ready. You know, <laughs> buying your pants means buying your destiny. <laughs> Apostle, mm -hmm. man of God, mm -hmm. I heard what you say. The question is, did I have destiny? Eh? What is the use of destiny to a man? The destiny that cannot put food on his table. The destiny that cannot bring honor to a man. So what is the usefulness of a destiny that cannot give, put food on a man's table? <laughs> eh? Look, I'm ready to sell it. I will sell it as long as it will give me 25 million. We are, no, no, we are, no, we are, no, 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 ah, sit down, no, sit down. let me ah. sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, ah. you, you won't do that, really. you, you won't do that here, please, uh, uh, there, there's a toilet, just um, at the lobby there, okay. you go there, you remove it, and then you come back here, and I will transfer you your 25 million, uh, I, just like that, that's the deal, so please, <laughs> No, no, don't pass it. I understand. <laughs> pass it. Pass it. Pass it. You see, I'm playing. Eh? I'll, I'll, in fact, let me go and play this. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not do what He maketh me lie down in the green pasture. He leadeth me beside still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me. In the path of righteousness, for his name's sake, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, but thou art with me. Your Lord and your staff, they comfort me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My dear, listen to me. God has never failed. Yes. And God can never fail. And he will not fail our brother Bolaji. God will not do that. Yes. Ha! Brother Bolaji abandoned his lucrative work to come to this village for the purpose of winning souls for the kingdom. God cannot bring him here to kill him. Yes. His father discouraged him. Yes. But he talked to his God. He abandoned everything to come to this village. And God cannot just bring him from the comfort of the city. God cannot allow him to die in the hands of occultic people. It must not be used for sacrifice. They must not use him for sacrifice. God should not do that. God cannot do that. That God must not happen. God cannot. And he will not. Yes. He will yes, not. Yes. We will have to pray. 
that God should show her the right strategy out of this situation. Uh, what we need now is the right revelation. And it is this right revelation that will now lead us to the right strategy. And it is this same right strategy that will now lead us to the right solution. Mm. So we are now going to pray that mm. God should open our eyes to the right revelation. Let's pray in the spirit. Lord, the right, right, right revelation. Right revelation. out of this situation. Masakatori mama ya. Eh, masakatori mama ma kuntori ya. Beka mama shakatori mama ya kaseria. Um. now that Brobology is in serious danger. We need to repel the activities of these dangerous forces against its life. <laughs> Please, let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we repel the activities of the devil, of the enemy, against his life. In the name of Jesus. Stop, stop, Please. 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 Please.